Another thing you talk about in the book is, is it was a very public uh, kidnapping of your two sisters, which yes. was devastating to you at the time. You said September 22nd, 2002, your life changed forever. You got a phone call. You were, you were ready to go to bed. You got a phone call. What happened? We, um, I got a phone call, and this voice told me that he just kidnapped my sisters. So I was like, thought it was a joke, thought it was like, this is uh, what happened. And then I found out it was uh, it was <laughs> not a soap opera, it was real life. And uh, that event changed my whole life and the life of my family because uh, by my sisters being kidnapped, it's not just them that were kidnapped, it's the whole family, the emotions, our fate, our hope. So uh, right now that we look back and we can just you know, talk calmly about that, and, you know, we work, we work through this uh, for so many years in, in our emotions, so it's, it's, it's okay to talk about it. I think, I think, um, I want with this book to, for people to find a parallel with their emotions. Maybe they can identify certain kind of pain, certain kind of, like, loneliness or solitude or something, and find a way, a way out. What's, what must have been difficult to deal with at the time is they kidnapped both your sisters. One sister was released after 16 days, and the other one was held in captivity for 32 more mm. for, for 32 days. How did you deal with that at the time? It's tragic. It's something that, uh, like an out of body experience, it's something that you don't understand. Time, you don't understand calendar. Nothing exists. It's just like. Are they okay? Are they breathing? Uh, they're beating them up. They're what? What are they doing to them? Are they going to come back alive? So that's exactly what happens uh, in your mind, in your heart, and whatever you see in Hollywood, that's a joke. When you live through that situation, that's a big deal.